smoke. Boy, Trey, forever, baby. Right, Brian, 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 Spook, we'll have back in this podcast. Air is a gap too deep. Are you Milan? Here, Milan. It's your girl, Flamey G. Ebony, aka Ebony with an I. I'm from the Big Head Radio Show, and I'm with the King Teeth Network, huh? And we're back. This is the King Teeth Network. We are here officially. Um, we are officially the best podcast in Ohio. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. We officially um, have the biggest in the building again. <laughs> same day, same year, uh, different year, bigger shit. Remember that. Um, yes, sir. It's a lot I can say. This intro, is, this intro is, is meaningful to me, so I'm taking my time. Um, I just got to thank this man for everything that he's done for me and my brand and me as a person. Uh, countless conversations, countless. Um, information, countless opportunities, uh, countless relationship building with others, uh, not a selfish bone in his body when it comes to giving opportunity. Uh, one of, when, when you say you the biggest, uh, that comes with a lot. It comes with, ah, haters, and ah, you ain't do nothing, da, da, da. When you're talking about independence, you got to look at him. People have to talk about him. BET experienced him, like I said earlier. Um, it was a year that I got to watch personally, and to sum it up um, in, 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 in words that, I don't know if there's words to sum it up in, um, a legend showed why he was a legend this year. True. Andrew Lloyd, man, what's up? How you? And the boy, man, that, that, whoo, that's an intro right there, my boy. <laughs> We got it, though. Yes, hey, we got it. Um, we got it, man. Here. I appreciate you. Um, I appreciate you, man. We got the... It's time to celebrate. It's time to celebrate. Hold them up, man. Go hold Come them on. up, It's time man. to celebrate because two years in a row, um, this one means... And I'm going to go one by one real quick. So, this one. Best up-and-coming media outlet. There's a story behind this. There's a story behind that one. You want to you want to tell your your version before you even told me everything that you saw that happened before that me not getting nominated. Yes. You want to say that story? Talk about that one. Talk All about right. that one. Really so, quick. you know, uh, basically he ain't make the nomination list, but I already yeah. knew you know we was gonna honor him just because of the hard work he had put in or whatever. But I didn't tell him we was you know nope. nomin uh, honoring him or whatever. So he, <laughs> He uh, hit my line like, man, you know, I'm gonna still be there though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And that's something that I respected about him. And he bought a ticket, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I, I respected that as well, you know, but I already knew I was gonna honor him. Did I tell you that day we was gonna honor you or I, I waited to tell you? You told me right after I bought my ticket. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, you know, he didn't have to buy a ticket, no, but you know what I'm saying? I, 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 didn't, but I, I appreciate it, you know? And these is uh, actually the, the, the old, you know, old trophies, yeah. which we can get into the new one. So um, this year, that's black. this year got a little different. Right? Black marble. So this black marble, you yes know, sir. Yeah, you gotta. I know you presented it, but you gotta hold that one real quick. That, yes sir. That, that's, that's, that that black marble. Um, this year we was nominated, um, and that means so much to me. So much to I know it means so much to Sweezy. It means so much. To, Mm -hmm. It means so much to everybody that has been on this network, on this podcast, um, to be recognized, uh, to just be recognized. That's what, I mean, just to be on it. Mm -hmm. But then I got recognized as content creator of the year as well. Mm -hmm. I have to, I can't, I didn't bring it home. Shout out to, you remember who won? Bonnie Saint. Boy, be having views. <laughs> anyway. Um, that, that was, was actually the, the roughest. Yeah, that was the the roughest category. Come on now, for so sure. I, I I appreciate even being on that category list. Shout out to Haber Flex, Lambo, Alicia, and everybody. Uh, uh, Fabio. Shout out to everybody that was on. Rico that, Trap. That, that, that come on, yeah. Murder Man Two One Six. That was a heavy one. Man, that was a heavy hitter. So for me to even be on that, recognized, I appreciate it. Um, but this was one of them ones that I need to bring home for everybody because. Um, I'd have had so many people. I mean, we interviewed 
probably in the 90s right now, if mm-hmm. you're thinking about it. Yeah. Um, I had so many people on this on this that I just wanted to do it for them. So mm-hmm. we get nominated and I'm like, man, that's that's not good enough. Yeah. No, we gotta come we gotta we gotta we gotta really we say we the king, we the king teeth network, mm-hmm. we, we royalty, we gotta we gotta take the crown. And shout out to everybody that was nominated because I, I think I sat down two with, two five. Shout out to I you sat all. down with them for sure. Shout out to I you sat all. down with like half the list though, man. You know no, what I'm saying? Real. So you know, I worked with a lot of the people that was nominated, so it's just good to see people nominated. Chicken chill. My boy out here celebrating. You Come know on. what I'm saying? Definitely well deserved. They was they, at the award show. A lot of people well deserved. Like they well was coming deserved. up to you. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. No, well and deserved. I, and I appreciate that, man. And, and I just want to talk about that for a second. We are gonna get into some more um, because y'all just need to know we here. We're the best podcast. We did not just get nominated. We brought it home, and that means something to us. So we're going to hold our heads high and we're going to push forward even more. We dropping some of the best content yet. All right. Yes, sir. Now get to this best content yet. I want to take it back to the top of the year. Yeah. Where was your mindset at knowing we could take it back basically to the last time we saw you? Mm-hmm. Um, you had just did the ninth annual OEAs. Yeah. Um, it had some ups and downs. Yeah. It was wasn't your best, but it wasn't your worst. Yeah. How did you? What was your mind at it for the tenth coming up that you knew it was the tenth? Um, at that time when we did the interview, I was just trying to get some rest for real. Yeah. I, I never really take vacations or nothing like that, but just more so just you know spending time with the kids. You know, spending time with my girl, you know, stuff like that. So, um, at the top of the year, I knew it was game time, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you got back focused in January. Yeah, I got back. I got back focused. You know. Um, I think I remember that call. Yeah. I think it sound, your tone changed. Yeah. I think I remember it. You piped up after that. Yeah. So you know, um, just got back focused, man. Just you know, just new new things that I wanted to do, knew where I wanted to take it. Um, but I, I knew that I wanted it to be legendary, but at that time I didn't know how it was going to be legendary. Mm-hmm. I just knew I wanted it to be legendary because it's a tough year. Mm-hmm. So we got all-star weekend this year. That, this oh yeah. Year. I forgot about that moment. We, come on now. Yeah. Come on now. So moving into February, all-star weekend happens, right? Mm-hmm. And it's probably one of the most commotionist weekends we haven't seen in a while. Yeah. And you do your motherfucking thing. Yeah. No, you do your motherfucking pre- thing. Appreciate it, bro. Boom, Elijah, Lamar, come on now. Yeah. Come on, Trey Burke, come on now. You yeah. know I don't forget. Yeah. Come on now. You went you went and got the uh what, what don't 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 let me forget her name. What who you bring at the end of the night? Oh, uh Nefertini Come Alani. on now. Yeah. Yeah. So how what was your I, thought process? Man, I done so much this year. Um so for All Star Weekend um, you know, shout out to the city of Cleveland, you know, for us even hosting that. Yeah. Um, I think I did like two, three events, but the main thing I was focused on was the uh, the the film festival that mm-hmm. I was producing. I ain't even you speak know. on that one. Uh, yeah, so we, we did a film festival, you know, shout out to Cedar and Lee Film Festival. Shout and um, yeah, shout out to Logan, my partner on the event. Um, and we did a film festival, man, you know, featuring, you know, Nefertiti, you know. Um, she was like our basically our headliner, mm-hmm. you know, um, signed to, to Def Jam, you know. Crazy. Got mentioned on the Breakfast Club. Crazy. On Snoop's, um, Snoop's album. album, you know what I'm saying? Super, super dope artist. You know, she was just opening doors, you know. Mm-hmm. So, um, and and the fact that, you know, she's so accomplished and was willing to work with me, I, I felt good. But she told me, like, you know, I mean, you somebody too though. You know what I'm saying? So just, to, you know, that, that, that whole event was beautiful, man. You know what I'm saying? Then, uh, you know, that was one of my red carpet showdowns. <laughs> Bust that yeah, bitch down, though. I, yeah. Shout out to everybody that was on that red carpet. You I did. met so many people. You did. We did so many interviews from that one, man. And then uh, we had, a, we had a, a, a NBA star, you know, Trey Burks was in the mm-hmm. building. We had Elijah Lamar from, from BMF, uh, Step Up Series, and uh, what's the other show? P Valley, mm-hmm. um, actually gonna be in a movie with Jamie Foxx soon. Mm-hmm. So, 
he doing his thing. We had that, uh, you know, just a a nice networking event, you know. So that that Saturday, I believe my mind is everywhere. It, yeah, it's that Saturday. Yeah, it's, I believe it was that Saturday for All Star Weekend, though. So it was just a networking event, you know, to meet them. You know, what I'm saying a lot of people came out. It's dope, man. So, Elijah Lamar. Yes, sir. Y'all two have built a really strong relationship, business relationship. Y'all are publicly out, getting to it together. Yeah. How did that come about? Um, I met him. I want to say 2015. Um, his work ethic was crazy, you know, and uh, just a hard worker, you know what I'm saying? And when we chopped it, you know, I'm like, yeah, this dude, he different, you know what I'm saying? He uh, got a lot of stuff to, to offer for real, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, Cleveland is has always been the the huge city. You know, out of mm -hmm. like a lot of cities, I say Cleveland and Columbus. Mm -hmm. But you got the smaller cities like Akron, Canton, Youngstown, Lorraine, Toledo. and Toledo. You know what I'm saying? Like the smaller cities, Dayton, and he was like a representation of Canton mm -hmm. that I knew. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, 2015, he just he went from being nominated. I believe he won. He, he lost a couple times too though, but wow. that year he won. Um I wanna say in twenty seventeen or eighteen, um, I did a tour out there in Canton and he was the first person that I that I, you know, went to in Canton to do business with mm -hmm. to, you know, put spotlights on the Canton artist, which I got familiar, you know, to Detroit Barbie because of him. And wow. she's one of the and she's Detroit one of the hugest, Barbie, yeah, yes. she's one of the hugest artists we got right now, Absolutely. you know, coming out of Ohio. So, um, you know, man, that's my guy, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, he understands the business, you know, like I said, he he's won awards, he's lost a couple times, but it never changed our, you know, our friendship, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, and that's my guy, man. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Okay, moving forward into this year, because you just had a monster year, man. Mm -hmm. um, I know... What was before and between All Star and the Summer Meltdown? Okay. Um, the the Doughboy concert in Columbus. There we go. That was that was one. Um, so we can start there. Speak on that. That was in March, wasn't it? That was in March. Yeah. So we going right to March. All right. So that March. Was in March. That was, so you just month after month <laughs> after month, big dog. Okay. So you go down to Columbus. Shout out to Ladies Love Lonnie. Um, mm -hmm. you go down to Columbus and. I ain't gonna lie, that was one of the funniest nights of my year. Mm -hmm. uh, not just Doughboy shutting down the stage and his mic was fucking up and he still turned that bitch up. Yeah. We was in that, you let, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> this is story. We walked in that bitch, uh, 30 deep? It was heavy. My boy made one phone call. <laughs> he made one phone call. He got 30 people in for who, who, when I say he's the biggest, don't just take me for word of mouth. There is facts <laughs> out here. <laughs> I have, I've gotten, I've gotten some people there for free. I've gotten, <laughs> I've gotten seven, eight people for free and thought I was doing something. <laughs> 30 <laughs> people, nigga. 30 people. <laughs> Different, different. Man. How was that night for you, man? Uh, it was, it was good, man. You know, um, shout out to Big Endo, shout out to Detroit Barbie. You know, they performed that night as mm -hmm. well. Um, Doughboy killed it, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, you know, shout out to Lonnie, man. He, he's one of the the best promoters I've ever seen, wow. like in my life. Like, I mean that too. Why would you, you know say what that? Saying? What um, makes him so great? Dude, you know it's it's a it's a art to like bringing people out. You yes. know what I'm saying? Like you got to be a likable person. You got to know what you're doing. And then not only is he a promoter, but he hosts as well. Like he's super dope on the hosting side too. Yeah, he really likes you know what I'm saying? Like he he get busy on that mic. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he just he one of the dopest man. You know I, I really feel like he really run Columbus. 
you know, he called himself the king of Ohio, man. I don't even really be arguing it. Like, for <laughs> real, bro. You, like, you got to see the way he worked, man. He, he done sold out yeah, a little bit of, yeah, you know, he just sold out a little bit of everywhere. He didn't touch that too. He, he got you know what I'm saying? He's a dog, you know what I'm saying? But that was just, a, you know, a, a good night, man, you know, so, you know. Just feel good, man. Shout out O Ten Records. You yeah, know. they was in the building. Yeah, so that was crazy. Okay, so mm-hmm. moving in, moving into you ain't had nothing in April, did you? Uh, I'm trying to skip a month, no, but we can't skip no month. Yeah, I don't uh, know. Cause then we gonna get to this tour. Who wanna be signed week. tour started in April? The what? Who wanna be signed tour? Yep. That started in April, and and how did that go? Went good, man. Went good. We did a. Uh, Ten cities, you know, looking. Uh, Cleveland, Akron, Warren, Youngstown, Lorraine, Canton, um, um, Columbus. We didn't do Dayton. Uh, That's that, I was about, yeah, it's, which one was your favorite? Would you say people came out the most? People were. I mean, hype. they. It's always going to Cleveland. Like, oh, they always, oh, you know, they come, they come out Cleveland. But they, they come out in Akron. They come out in Canton. They come out in Youngstown. Mm-hmm. Um, those, like, my, my favorite cities to visit. You know, I, I know a lot of artists, you know, out that way. I know a lot of artists everywhere, but I, I know majority of the artists out that way. Mm-hmm. Those, those cities. So. Shit. so, you you put this tour together and you put the Ohio Entertainment Awards sh- tour together. Yeah. Nigga. <laughs> yeah, in between that, you put the Summer Meltdown together. Yeah. Shout out to A.O. Shout out to Dre Day. Talk about A.O. Summer really meltdown. came through Summer Meltdown, man. Shout out to my business partner, A.O. Um, Summer Meltdown at the Akron Civic Center, yeah. man. That was huge, you know. It's like a ticket master event. If you know anything about events, having a ticket master event is huge. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, had a lot of Akron legends in the building. Mm-hmm. Had a lot of different performers, you know. Shout out to Baby Bugsy. Shoddy um, Boy. Shout out to Shoddy Boy. Um, who, uh, it was Shoddy Boy, uh, the, 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 Chino Nino. Chino Nino. And you got to shout out them dancers, because you didn't have oh, them yeah. dancing TK, all year. Good yeah, dog. big shout out to TK. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to TK, ENT, Born to Dance, ENT, mm-hmm. everybody out that way. Um, we had a uh, sassy little kid performer. Mm-hmm. Um, I think shout Janiyah out. did it, too. They, they did the awards, too. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Storm Cache, you Storm know. Storm Cache. Yeah, that that was just a it was just a huge night, you know, mm-hmm. for for and, and for real for I'm from Cleveland. Nicasso. Nicasso, he up. Yep. He put out that Jalen Walker song that was crazy. Yeah, uh, it was another artist that did Jalen Walker, but he was, was like before. Yeah, uh, his name is uh, he from Akron, man. My bad, it's, I so many of y'all, Sorry. but that Jalen Walker song is dope. It but Nicasso went before. I think before or after right, him, so right, I, I can see right where you got it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that was a, uh, it was a huge night for the city of Akron. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, Cleveland is is a city that gets a lot of recognition. Um, most of the artists here that get signed are from Cleveland. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So to see Akron, you know, really come out and do their thing and be unified, because it's it's really divided out there too. Is you know it? what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, it's now it's starting to come together, yeah. but. Before Crisis, it was, Dre, yeah, yeah, it was divided. Crisis came through. That's my boy too, man. Shout out Crisis and congratulations on the Z1079 position. Huge. Um, yeah, man. That 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 summer meltdown was it. Yeah. That was it, bro. So. So, using, I feel like you just had momentum, like just 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 each thing was just just, you know. Adding on to top the of next each other. one, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like you was just like now, nah, like every time I call you, now nah, I'm good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All year, but now nah, you know this, that, and the third, but I'm good, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. everything, I f- that's why I keep saying like the tenth year, it felt like you just like you put everything together in your head too. Like oh, mm-hmm. I don't, I don't need to stress about this anymore. This is this is what's gonna be, and this night is dope, but it's the next night now. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. you, you kind of like. Not kind of, you have grown 
in every aspect in 10 years. You know what I'm saying? Not yeah. just doing something for 10 years. Because you can do something for 10 years and be insane. Mm -hmm. Because nothing changed. Nothing nothing better happened. You had a 10-year run of growth. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's something that people don't do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So going into the fall, um, you go into the tour. Yeah. Uh, and you're working with the development. Uh, so Cash A wins the development deal. No, in June. In yep. June, and um, you get to working, you putting her to work, you putting her into positions to get her better. How do you feel like um, that day went when she won, and how do you feel like her process has been since she won? Oh, so um, you know when she won, it was between her and uh, and another girl that was actually nominated. They were the the, the two um, people that was like the finalists. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when she won, she was excited, you know. Absolutely. Um, well-deserved. And it, it just, it felt good, though, man, because I, I just, I knew for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, she got it for real. Mm -hmm. um, I used to always critique her performance, always, because I felt like it could be yeah. better, you yeah. know. And But I got it, though, because she was new, so I felt like she had, like, that stage fright, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I knew she could, you know, perform. I didn't know she could dance. You know, I'm just let y'all know that. No, I didn't. I didn't know. Even when she told me, I'm like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, I got to see, see it. you know. I mean, she hit a little dance move here and there, but dance, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, she did her thing, man. You know, and we just was just, you know, prepping her up you know, for that big day was like, the war show was like graduation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I felt like that for me Yeah. Too. And she actually had a, a moment like you when she, uh, when the ballots dropped, mm -hmm. she couldn't be nominated. Really? Yeah, but I told her, I'm like, you know, it's a, it's a conflict yeah. of interest, you know what I'm saying? So, but I knew we was going to award her because that was the, our first time doing a development deal. So she didn't really? even know she was going to get awarded. Yeah, that was our first time ever doing a development deal. We, me and Dre Day personally manage artists. Like I've had my set of artists. Mm -hmm. He had his set of artists, you know. But that was our first time doing like a joint venture mm -hmm. on, you know, like developing somebody. That's so. crazy, dude. That's, yeah. And do you feel like this is just the start of something crazy? Yeah. Um. I believe we're going we gonna to do one every year, you know, just to give people, you know, that opportunity to get that exposure, yeah. you know. Um, we we got the biggest award show in Ohio, I, I think the Midwest for real, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Too. So um, just to get somebody that, that guaranteed crowd, that guaranteed exposure, you getting them, them guaranteed media runs where you getting on these radio stations, you getting your music out here. You know, uh, guarantees proud on the King TV network. You feel, that's yeah, crazy. You feel, that's what I'm saying. Award crazy. winning, come on now, award winning award King winning. TV network. Um, so I think that's something that we're gonna do every year, man, just to get people that exposure. Real shit. Yeah. Um, I want you to speak on Dre Day and y'all partnership, but I want to talk, I don't want to skip over the, the stamp. I know you weren't like super, super heavily involved, but I know mm -hmm. you and Dre Day and A.O. put that together, and it was a lot of Akron artists, a lot of Cleveland artists, a lot of mm -hmm. people coming together. How was the stamp? How was that experience? Uh, you know, shout out to the stamp, man. And I, I you know, I told Dre Day, like, you know, I, I want this to, like, really be your thing, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because when it come to, like, movie premieres, you know what I'm saying, that's, like, really my thing. That's something that I do, you know what I'm saying? I, I had them. <laughs> Um, you know, you, you remember, I had you come down one time, you know what I'm saying? You ain't host with me, you know what I'm saying? I want you to remember that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, he did his thing, though, man. Him and A.O., man, uh, Stamp. You know, myself, too, I, I you know, had a couple of Cleveland, you know, artists involved. But um, it's just a compilation, man, just trying to get artists out here, man. You know, paying for studio time, out of pocket, you know, like, like Dre Day, man, he really, Dre Day and AO, for real, for real, they do a lot for the culture. Mm -hmm. They do a lot for Ohio culture. But I'm going to speak specifically in Akron. They do so much for Akron culture that it's crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like Cleveland. Yeah, yeah. Cleveland, we got a couple people that's out here doing 
you know, showcase. The hardest thing to do, in my opinion, is showcase for artists, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a bunch of, you know, I don't want to say unknown artists, but some artists are unknown. You know, some some artists are known, but it's hard to, to get people to come out and do that. And they was doing it in Akron, and I can't name another person mm. for years. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't name another. That that was consistent. You got some people from Akron that was, you know, doing their thing here and there, but that's like maybe once a year, mm -hmm. like literally. Mm -hmm. But they kept doing stuff all year for Akron artists, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, shout out to... Dre Day, shout out to AO, man, We're my boys, man. We call ourselves the big three. Yeah. You feel me? So. So talk about you and Dre Day's relationship specifically, because he's yeah. he's been your partner for the last five years on the awards. Yeah. So how does how how has your relationship been been able to grow and develop and y'all been able to do so much together? Yeah. Um it's 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 grown, you know, tremendously, man. You know, we uh he he not a yes man, nope. you feel me? He gonna speak his mind. He gonna tell you how he feel. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he helped me grow. Like I said, I never been on a tour, never knew how to tour. He taught me how to tour. One of the biggest things he told me was, man, your city will get tired of you. Stay on this road. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You told us that and, last year. Yeah, you feel me? And. That's just, that's my guy, that's my brother for real, you know what I'm saying? Like, we talk every day, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Every day in the morning, every day, about business, kids, family, all that, like, that's like a real brother. And it mean a lot because I had that and I lost it, you know what I'm saying? When my, my brother Box, I got, you know, he got murdered, so, you know, um, Dre Day, that's my brother, man. Now we gotta speak on these awards because we be shitting on them bitch. I wish I had a red carpet right now because we just be stepping all over them motherfuckers. <laughs> so we did some of the biggest red carpets in the city. Oh, you, 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 talk. Come on. Talk. Um, talk is a fact too, wrong, though. But we did one of, no, not one of. We had we did the best movie of the year. Yeah. Premiere. Yeah. Shout out to Scam Likely. Shout out to Johnny Filmworks. Yes, shout out to HWYC. Shout out to Mayana. Shout out to Buddy Vaughn. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to Alex. Shout out, shout out look, look, A Rod, everybody, look. Look, David, everybody over there. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> y'all are amazing people. Um, keep doing what y'all are doing. We are looking forward to locked in, because we are locked in. Um Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but uh scam likely, man. How do you you called us, look. Changed everything. I ain't even gonna lie. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why January and them phone calls we had early was so like, they just they just replaying my mind. They just been replaying in my mind all year because it's just like, are oh, we gonna do this, this, and this, and then boom, this, this, and this. He was like, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell him, I'm gonna tell him you coming, and just come. And he was yeah. like, I told him. He was like, cool. Yeah. And then we get there and we do something. Man, yeah. 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 Some like, of that. Some of that, some of, some of that. that, to where they calling me now. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's yeah. that's different. Yeah. Well, it's it, it start like I said. You know, shout out to you. Uh, how did I forget the Jada Kiss concert? Uh, so, so much. much. <laughs> <laughs> so, so much. So much in a year, but uh, you know, shout out to Uncle Joe from Columbus. Yes. I had him come down. Um, shout out to live from 225 of my guys all the way from Akron. Yep. Had them shout come down. Live. And you know, my thing is, you know, I work with a lot of people. Well, I don't wanna say a lot, cause some of the nominees I don't know, but I worked with a lot of uh, the, the podcast mm -hmm. nominees, you know, cause I be trying to, you know, spread, you know what I'm saying? What well, we got here for real, you know what I'm saying? But personally, when it came to you, uh, I seen something in you and my thing is, you know, I'm on I'm on a crazy run now for for the uh, the, the movie premiere 14, 14. It's gonna be 15 because we together. Cause we got but one. you, one. but you, low key. <laughs> look, hey, look, I'm almost halfway there. The, hey, the boy, low key, catching up, come crazy. On. Come on. To the point that you got called for two this year that I wasn't a part of. But that's a part of the plan, though. Yes. Because Talk I didn't want to, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to be the only one. Like, it, it, 
I don't even want to say it. On, you told me that. Yeah. In I December told. last year, bro. Well, I didn't know what it was going to be. You told me, you was like, bro, I'm not trying to, like, I'm going I'm to put you and we're going to start running them together. Yeah. And then you're going to start doing them on your own. Yeah. Nick. And, <laughs> and, and it happened that way, though. Literally. To the point where we was booked on the same Save day. At, it bro. was two. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. It was two premieres going on. Come on. I was hosting one. He was hosting the other Come one. On. And they thought we was coming together, together. At both of them. At both of them. That's crazy. That's ridiculous. That's what yeah. that's what it means when you talking about coming together and really building something. That's when I, everybody be like, oh, I want to interview all. Are we building something? Are yeah. we doing stuff? At, are we actually growing so we can get the fuck out of here all together? Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Watch that, yeah, watch that camera. That motherfucker, boop, boop. And then, <laughs> <laughs> we're like, what happened to part? Four, 15 minutes and 30 seconds. And <laughs> look, until 21. <laughs> but um, but no, man. The red carpet run, the, the, the movie premiere run you're on is, is, is something different. And you taught me so much. Oh, man. I mean, I have content from Scam Likely to this day, and I will forever keep it. Because, again, number one movie on Tubi, what you fucking talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like, one of the best movies to come out of Cleveland in years, in years. Shout mm-hmm. out to everybody who's doing it, because that's not saying that he didn't have to work for that. Mm, facts. He had to that's put in facts. the work. Shout out to Workout Partners. That was a good ass, great ass movie, man. Facts. Shout out to Bank Shack. Shout out to Barry Good Films. Should that be was... coming out on Tubi any day now, too. And that's another one we did. Mm-hmm. So, boom, the scam likely bounced us right in. I met Barry that night. Yeah. Everything bounced into everything. Authentic James, shout out to you, man. Buzzworthy. It bounced right from Workout Partners that day. Who's involved? Why you think this interview finna be so long? <laughs> Fuck you talking about? Hey, niggas is like thinking we just, no, nigga. He, look, we have real conversations, real people. Real, you know what I'm saying? Real world. <laughs> Come on, man. Like, man. it can't, just, you can't make this shit up. You can't. <laughs> you know, you, this, can't. you had to live it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We lived these moments. Like, how was, how was Workout Partners red carpet premiere for you? It was amazing, man. Um, you know, shout out to Brian Berry. Um, shout out to Bank Shack, B Zach, the whole everybody over there. Um, you know, they, they had, you know, celebrity, you know, host with us, Mike Bless. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they had a couple celebs in the movie. It was packed out theater, you know, it was in Solon. And the fact that y'all doing premieres in Solon is amazing, you know what I'm saying? This is such a hard thing to do. Um it just was a good experience, man. Like, you know, I just feel like when they come to premieres, they know to call me. But now, when they come to premieres, they know to call us. Come on. You feel me? It's crazy because we talked about this last year. And I told you, I'm like, bro, I'm about to usher you in. And it's what it is, man. In the but, one- but ahead, you know, the power ahead. of this, though, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm older than him, you know. But even if somebody's older than him, he can usher the next person mm-hmm. into a winning situation. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because that's what it's about for real. So. Exactly what I was about to say. Like manifestation mm-hmm. and actually executing the play. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like really taking the time to say, now this is what we're about to do. It may take the whole year. And look, I got the call three weeks ago. Like the first real call out my sleep. Like, we need you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I didn't got shout out to Authentic James. He called me too. Um, but I didn't know him, and I met him that day, and we put it together. But when you're mm-hmm. talking about from not being called and showing up <laughs> and turning up to being called like I need you, is a different is a different feeling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you on the first flight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's a different feeling, bro. It's a different feeling. And the fact that we're talking about it and that we talked about it yeah. and how you said you're gonna usher somebody in, you really mean that. Yeah. Like, that's why I say he doesn't have a selfish bone in his body. And that's what I try to literally implement into everything that I do is like, now nah, we ushering in because it's all enough for everybody. It is. Did, it stop, did, did anything you did for me stop anything you had going for you? No, I got a, another call like right after. Come on. 
Like it's mm-hmm. and, 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 and the thing about it is, if you really want your premiere to go right, you have both of us anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. Hey, cut and the you're check. Gonna be able to see it. Come on now, cut the cut check. Cut the now. check. But, uh, <laughs> hey, the stack. Come on now, look at him. Um, <laughs> man, look, we did. We had a great. This is one of the most hindsight, right? Hindsight, twenty twenty, right? Yeah. But it's twenty twenty two. One of the best, greatest years of my life. Oh yeah, for sure. Not just because of all of the everything that y'all see, but everything I went through with it. Yeah. Your impact on this year was crazy. Stupid. Crazy. And it's happening right now. Yeah. That's what's crazier about it. Yeah. Like, well, this is going over. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like this being done and dropped and it's happening and we got the awards right there and the time to celebrate. Like, this is one of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's crazy that we're experiencing it as it happens. They not gonna see it. They you see it this December night, but look, motherfuckers, this is happening right now in <laughs> real life. In real life. It, it it you can't you can't you can't script this. No. You can't put this on a notepad and be like, all right, we're gonna do this, 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 and it's gonna come out like this. Niggas did not know. Niggas was like, nah, follow through with whatever we got going on. Just follow through with it. Yeah. And show up. Yeah. And show out. And show up. So that's what we've been doing all year, man, leading into the tour. I mm-hmm. want to talk about the how Entertainment Awards tour you tore down every motherfucking city you could. Yes, sir. Um, how do you feel like that went leading up to the how Entertainment Awards, which we're about to get into? Yeah, it went, it went good, man. Just, uh, you know, it's an awareness thing, you know, to let people know, like, the, the awards is coming. Mm-hmm. Um, it went good, man. It's, it's something that, you know, that people look forward to. And we just, we do our thing, man. That's yes, it. Y'all, yes, y'all did. What were some of the, um, shout out some of the highlighted um, acts. Like, they won, so they was able to perform. Mm-hmm. So, so, shout out some of the acts. Um, so, uh, Pop Out J, uh, he won first place. Uh, we was only going to do two. Mm-hmm. But uh, we did Pop Out J, Big Homie Max. He's, he's a hell of he's a dog. Hell of a he's a hell of an artist. Hell of a and uh, you know, I just I had to yeah, I had to slide Envy Jazzo and Infinity Meek in there. Cause um, Envy Jazzo had one, one of the most consistent years I've ever seen. Come Not on, just a female, any artist have. On. She really worked. She really worked her she ass to be off. She the big endo, the the. Look, if she got if she got if she got another year in her like she did this year, she gonna be in them piggies and top. You know what I'm saying? Them them big female big artists. Period in the city. Like you know you know I I re- I watch everything on the internet and um, it was people that was saying like when she won an award that's like well deserved and then they said overdue and to be completely honest, it was wow. like it was like Jazzo's probably been consistent in the music industry that I've seen mm-hmm. from 2016 till now. Wow, consistently, like just super consistent. That's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? She never won. She was nominated a couple times. Never won. It was her first year winning. Congratulations, man. Mm-hmm. Big Jazzo, you. Definitely gonna be on on this seat 2023 for sure. Mm-hmm. But um, I got to meet her on the All Star Weekend. Mm-hmm. Energy through the roof. Mm-hmm. Um, just truly cares about her art. Uh, wants to keep doing things and keep going and don't give a fuck what yeah. people think. She don't. It's, it's just she it's, don't. It's beautiful energy mm-hmm. every time. Facts. So those three, shout out to them. Mm-hmm. Can we get to this award show now? Yes, sir. We're we here. Look, we 40 minutes in. Look, we're, about to, <laughs> we're about to really get into the, to the real Let's shit. Let's get to the if talk. If y'all still here, that means y'all really walk with us. Come on now. In yeah. the network and all of that. We walking this interview down. We here now. You feel me? Tenth one. Ten years. Ten years. No tears. No tears. No fears. 
No flaws. <laughs> Cheers. You about to get me back on my big brick. That ain't Come no on. Lie. You feel me? Brick. Okay. Brick. Come on now. Uh, brick management. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Leading up, man, the week of, how you feeling? I called you a few times, but how you, yeah. how you, you good? You good? <laughs> I was good. I was, I was calling you because I was never yeah. there. Nigga, I'm, I'm okay. I'm... I was good. The less stress ever. Really? Less stress. I'm, I'm going to tell you something, man. True story. We're going to get back to the award show. It's a three-minute story. Side of baby. Celebrity artist. We did an event for him in 2020. 2020 or 2021. Can't remember. Does so many events. He, so we had an event from 6 to 11 in Akron. Sold out, everybody there, sold out. They called us and told me he missed his flight. Mind you, when you bring a celebrity that people come to see, it's packed. At the end of the day, they see our names on the flyer. Me and Dre Day stressed out. I'm talking about super stressed. He ended up making it though. Mm -hmm. But my point is to say, I'm saying all that to say this. I always had this analogy when I'm into any situation now that's in entertainment and me and Dre Day, we, we, we getting hyped up or stressed. I'll be like, Dre Day, saw the baby missed his flight. And <laughs> we made it happen. <laughs> That was my whole mindset yeah. the whole time, bro. Yeah. Side of baby misses flight. We made it happen. Mm -hmm. so. so this is nothing. It's, do it's, it's, I do it's this. Just me. It, yeah. It's like, you know, the back of my head. <sighs> Feel me? And you did it like like the fact that you called me at 1 30 yeah. PM. Yeah. Hey, hey, I just wanted to see, make sure you was what time you was gonna get here. We gonna try to get a red carpet. I'm in the car. I'm, I'm coming, bro. I'm on, I'm on the way. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. Click it in. No, <laughs> no. Yeah. What? No. Where you? None of that. None of that. I'm here. Yes. I was there. You was there then. Setting up just. Making sure everything was everything. Yeah. Red carpet starts basically 3.30. 3.30 on the dot. It don't stop going. Oh, uh, man. You got to stop it. I had to stop it. And it was so crazy. Why did crazy. you have to stop it, man? It I think everybody would have had noticed. Why did you need to stop? I was on, we man. was on the roll in that motherfucker. Y'all was. But it was like, I had a, I had a perfectly scheduled <laughs> program. <laughs> and I knew if it was off by a little bit, mm -hmm. the whole night was off. Mm -hmm. And people, you know, shout out to the people, you know what I'm saying? Y'all seen me in rare form, you know? <laughs> I was I was giving uh, big board. brick vibes, you know what I'm saying, but I could tell it was a look because that, but that's a, a credit to you because you was doing your thing. I know people wanted them interviews, you know what I'm saying, but get there early. Yeah, hey, you, you don't feel miss me? Out no more. I told I a lot of y'all. I told a lot of y'all two thirty. Told a lot of y'all two thirty. I think it's gonna change. I think people gonna stop. They gonna, to, they gonna stop missing these because they see them. They see people on they shit next. They be like, damn, I should have got there. Man, hey, you, you see us on that flyer? No, get there early. But uh, it was a vibe, man. You feel me? I ain't about to sit here and say I did. Like I said, less stress. Definitely stressful moments. Mm -hmm. But like usually at the award show, I'm stressed the entire yes. day. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, it was stressful moments here and there, but and I was that was the best award show I ever had. Now you rate all your. I awards. rate them all. I rate them all. I was that and was you it. You rated last year. Yeah. I'm gonna find the clip and I'm gonna put it in right now. Did yeah, so it, I it, forget which one you. I think it was like. It, it might have been three because I do. I did 18, 17, mm -hmm. then, then that one. Yeah. So now it's getting pushed to four. Ooh. Yeah, it's getting pushed to four and 18, which is crazy. Is that your yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the biggest one. But the vibe? 22? 22 was crazy. So it was right there, neck and neck with one. 
it's yeah, one and it's two. still it's still one neck. A, and, one B. It's still neck and neck because you know, shout out to Ricky Rich. She introduced to me, cut the lights off, turn your phone lights on. She introduced that that moment to oh, me to the she? to me to the culture. She, she introduced that moment. Yeah, that's why we always use that clip when she say dim the lights. It's such a huge moment, and it was dedicated to my brother. You know what I'm saying? It was dedicated to Box. So I held on to that one dearly. You know what I'm saying? But I just think the vibe. You know. I had the long live box moment at the war show this year yes. on count of three. Um, the performances was on point. Uh, you had a legendary it, performance. Had, it, so that what took it over the top. Okay. That's it. Let's That's it. it. That's it. Let's talk about it. Yeah. So, so, so flat out, out fast, whoever you want to count them. I didn't came down. Yeah. I didn't came. He came out and the room erupted.